Let's do this bit. Uh, so I'm throwing. Where is? Uh, oh, she's I not. Again on this? It's 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 recording. Oh. I think is it? Right. Can I just check? This is so calm. I know I'll screw this up. Oh, I thought you. Hello. Yes, dear. I get pink paper like Carol, like big big people do. Little giggle chops. Into the what? What do I read? Oh, it's all got funny things on it. Hello. Yes, dear. Can I rehearse it, Damien? Radio Newcastle, the BBC for the North East. Good afternoon. Uh, the father of a Chinese woman murdered in Newcastle has appealed for help in finding her killers. Shi Zhu and Zhen Zing Yang were found dead in their flat in the city last month. There's speculation they were targeted by gangsters and the case has appeared on Crime Watch. A short time ago, her father described through a translator how they supported their daughter's decision to study here. We fully support her financially and spiritually. We spent all of our saving on her and make her dream come true. A 22-year-old northeast woman has died after falling from a balcony in Ibiza. Carla Newman's body was found on Monday. Spanish newspapers say she fell to her death while trying to climb between two second-floor balconies in the resort of San Antonio. Miss Newman worked at a children's centre in South Shields. Three instructors from the Army's Infantry Training Centre at Catterick Garrison have been suspended. It follows an undercover BBC investigation at the base, which led to allegations of bullying. In a statement, the Army said it takes allegations of mistreatment extremely seriously and has launched an investigation. Be nice to take a breath. After months of discussion, it has been decided the County Council, formerly known as Durham, which has now become a so-called Super Council, will be called Durham. After six months in limbo, councillors today finally on the name. Four other names were in contention, but voters favoured of the old name councillors were warned any change could cost £4 million, commas would be nice. The decision goes to the full council for ratification next month. Now let's catch up on uh, the weather with Trey in a nice pink themed jacket. Thank you very much, Jonathan. At last, our patients rewarded with a really fine and sunny day for much of the region. A little bit of cloud around, but most of it clustered through Northumberland. Further south, we are uh, seeing plenty of sunshine around this afternoon, and my goodness, we have waited for it. Temperatures this afternoon, 15 or 16 in the west, 17 to 18 as we head into the, the northern side of the region. And as we head into tomorrow, it looks like a similar picture. High pressure in charge. We're going to keep the sunshine as we head into the weekend as well. Jonathan. No damp pants if you're putting those on the garden line then. Uh, that's the summary and uh, the News Diva will be back at 6.30 in a nice frock. Have a good afternoon. Radio Newcastle, the BBC for the North East. feel like I've got a pole up my back. Thank you, gallery. I've seen her do this. Thank you, everybody. Jesus, you don't feel like you can move. You don't look at yourself. How do you do this every day? This is terrifying.